This is a quick tutorial on how to generate cool Minecraft renders with this software. This software is Ideogram. It's really cool, but you can actually generate renders like this uh, within seconds. And it's really cool if you're trying to generate something and you don't know what you want, but you just don't have the software or the know-how to render something and you just want to be able to render it really quickly. So what I typed in was Minecraft Dragon 3D Pixel Art, and then I got a magic prompt, which you can see is here. So what you want to do is just type that in on your aspect ratio, just do 16 to nine. Then of course you can see right here, what you want to do Minecraft 3D Drag Dragon Pixel Art um, or whatever you want to do. Then I'm going to click 3D render as well. And then I'm going to click generate. Then I'm going to off click 3D render and then I'm going to click generate again. The reason we do that is because you first, when you generate it, you want to be able to see which kind of generations actually occur and then once those generations occur we can then like change it a little bit and fine tune it so that um refine it again and again so that we can get a better version okay so um let's see what we got here so we can see that this is like a kind of cool render that we could use in like a thumbnail or something we can see that this one here is uh we might not be able to use that this one here looks all right um and we could do a lot a lot more generations and then we got this one we got this one that doesn't look that good. And then we got this one as well that does look pretty cool that we could use in a different thumbnail. So we could definitely use these in different thumbnails, but whichever one you do want, you can then go ahead and, and refine it a little bit. So for example, um, we could do like, uh, in fact, let me just do something that, 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 that would be really cool. Okay. So let's say we like this one. We're like, okay, this looks cool. We're going to use this on the thumbnail or whatever. What I can do is I can click remix right here and then I can use the image weight down to two or to one. So I can do two. And then I can go back and I can put one. And what that will do is that will make it so that my image is now as similar as the previous one. So currently we're just going to wait for this render to happen again. We're going to wait for this to happen. And then you can see now we've got different variations of the same image. Um, and you can use those instead if you want. Um, and we, we're going to go back here. I think we can see this one as well. So yeah, you can see all sorts of different variations that all look pretty cool that you can use in whatever. So we could do... Um, we could do like, you know, Minecraft. We could do like Minecraft Pikachu, uh, 3D render, Pokemon. Um, and I think this is this is for a lot of different stuff as well. It doesn't have to be Minecraft, but this is just a creative way that I found. I was just messing around with the generations and I thought, you know what? Some people would use this because I know a lot of people do this stuff for thumbnails and stuff like that. So this is just an easy way. You could do this um, and then uh, we could just do that. We could just do 3D render or we could just do again a Minecraft style. Um, 3d render and you can see that some of these come out really nicely like with the minecraft theme so for example this one here looks super blocky and then we can go ahead and refine this one so that this is what we really want so it's completely up to you it's completely completely up to you what you want to do um and i would just say generate a lot of generations because of course it's gonna it's gonna help you out a lot um, and also make sure that you're on model 1.0 because if you're not um it's not gonna be uh as easy to generate certain things but i think with this you're able to render a lot of things really easily and really quickly um for example if you wanted to do like i don't know like a house or something like that you could do like a minecraft um modern house render you could do something really easy or minecraft survival house render and then you could you could actually just do it like a thumbnail um because this also goes into the prompt as well because how the images have been trained it actually helps you so i think this is going to be really effective that one looks a bit too realistic you know just a little bit too realistic too re a bit too realistic but nonetheless these kind of renders like i said it can be used um for different variations different backgrounds different websites all sorts of stuff i think i think ideogram is really really slept on websites so you can have these images you know, maybe on your server, maybe on your blog page or whatever. And then you can add different things into that with different apps. But I think this is really, really effective. So let me know what you thought about that. Um, and yeah.